Hello there, beautiful souls. Welcome back again to our hashtag Lady Who series. Now we are on our second episode, and just a quick recap. And I just want to thank you for super duper patiently waiting on the live stream last Saturday. It was oh, grabe. It was totally. I was totally nervous that day, and I was constantly praying. Uh, kasi the one one hour and a half or almost two hours of waiting to go live from the scheduled um, time so yeah and then the output was parang robot dun. but I pray I pray I pray na the word of God was was clear and nang nangusapan nag diretso naman hindi siya, siya robot basta diretso siyang pumasok sa puso niyo and so for our, our quick recap we talked about uh, one of the strong god dependent women in the bible and i can see one of my favorite because me as a single woman i am so patiently i am prayerfully waiting for my kids for someone who would redeem me. Of course, Jesus did. Jesus already did. But for... I, I am praying for my was of course. So, yeah. Um, we knew about Ruth from her story that she was single and secured and we, strong God-dependent women, can be, women can be secured even when we are single or in whatever uh, circumstance or situation or whatever season you're at right now, you can be secured as long as you stay connected with Jesus. You have that intimate relationship with Jesus. And so, may mga characteristics tayo na bangiton. Ruth was, uh, Ruth was not part of the majority, but the minority, right? Second is, um, Ruth kept on going. Kahit anong nangyari sa kanya in the past, nagpatuloy siya. Hindi siya sumuko. And she is not bitter. She, she always look at the brighter side of things. She, she, and she becomes better with God. And then, she, most importantly, was waiting actively. She is serving fully, giving her full service everything that she does and that's what makes her qualified to be tagged as a strong god dependent woman now for her second uh second um woman to talk about usapan natin kung chichisim sa natin usapan natin yung sister esther found grace and favor in uh, in esther chapter 2 verse 17 it says here and the king loved esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of vashti so we'll be talking about a queen today now last saturday we celebrated mother's day and we wanted to honor all the women, or all our moms, our grandmothers, mga ninang natin, yung mga, mga, um, even, even those who were a surrogate mother, or yung mga, uh, nag-adopt, single moms, and yung mga ate natin, mga tatay natin, who has a fair share of the role of a mother. So, we honor you, and if last episode we talked about Ruth as a single woman, medyo, um, I was, I was talking to the, I was talking to the single ladies out there. Now, we will be talking about, a uh, uh, a queen, so we will be talking about being a wife and preparing to be a mother, or being a mother, so makita natin yun sa buhay ni Queen Esther and now as we look at 1 Peter bigay ko muna yung 
lahat ng points and then magdire-diretso lang tayo sa story ni Esther. First, um, Peter chapter 3. It says here, Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. So, first point natin, kailangan ng obedience. If any obey not the word, they also may without the word be one of conversation of the wives. First point natin, obedience. So, a uh, stronger dependent woman must be obedient. Verse, katuloy natin, verse 2, while they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. Second point natin, chaste. Chaste, ibig sabihin, um, pure. So, we may purity. Then, whose adorning let it not be the outward adorning of plaiting the hair and wearing of gold or putting of apparel, but let it be hidden, man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God, of great price. So, number three, meek, meekness. Verse 5, For this manner in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves, being in subjection into their own husbands. For our point number 4, A strong God-dependent woman must have fear of the Lord. Trust, trust in the Lord. So, you should have a fear of the Lord. Okay. So, itong si Esther. Esther is an orphan. Esther is an orphan and then yung uncle niya si Mordecai. Nampun siya and took her as her own. And then um, that time King Ahasuerus uh, uh, always makes banquet. Lagi silang may fest. And then may fest. <laughs> may feast. Now, sa so mga banquet na hineld nung king isang gabi nagpa banquet din itong si Queen Vashti sa kabilang side parang mayroong mayroong banquet para sa mga uh, official sa mga o oh, sabihin natin sa mga male and then si Queen Vashti nagpa banquet din for the women and then sabi ni King Ahasuerus um tawagin daw si, si Queen Vashti para i-display niya yung ganda niya, yung, yung ilagay yung crown to compliment her to compliment her um, before before all the men nung time na yun and then Queen Vashti declined tumanggi si, si Queen Vashti and dito natin makikita na you must be obedient. Kaya nagkaroon ng problem yung yung mga ibang uh, ibang lalaki doon na sinabi niya, sinabi sa king na, na hindi dapat hindi dapat uh, pag walang bahala yung ginawa ni Queen Vashti na pag decline sa utos ng king. Alam natin ang ang utos ng hari hindi dapat nababali. So, sabi, magkakaproblema kami niyan sa mga asawa namin. Siguro kaya meron yung under, no? <laughs> Magkakaroon ng problema sa mga asawa namin. Kaya hindi dapat, hindi dapat um, maging isang halimbawa si Queen Vashti para sa ibang mga babae. Which gives us a better queen. God has a better queen coming on the way. Which is Queen Esther makita natin na um, una, you must be obedient to the king. You must be obedient. Even nabasa natin sa, sa first Peter, as a woman, as a wife, you must be subjected to your husband. You must obey every word. So, kita natin na huwag natin masyadong pansinin to si Queen Vashti. No? Kay Queen Esther tayo. And we are we are so um, blessed to have women like this in in this 
sa generation na mayroon pa rin ng babae na na nag-i-stand na sinusunod yung salita ng Diyos as a wife submitted to the husband. Now, now after noon, sabi nila, um, hanap ka na lang ng better queen. So, nagkaroon ng pinatawag uh, lahat ng mga beautiful single women women sa sa Persia and then kasama dun si Esther. But the long story short, um, one of the one of the eunuchs officer nila, officer of the king was pleased with Esther na na yung iba tinatanong kung ano yung gusto sa so, nila magandang clothes yung magandang uh, maraming jewelry, mga perfume nung tinanong si Esther no, I, I I need nothing, sabi niya nila. So, she was contented, she was humble, ano po, and then, we would see na ipinresent na siya sa king, and the king found grace and favor, and she was reigned to be the queen. So, wala na si Queen Vashti. Ngayon, meron tayo Queen Esther. Until, Mordecai um, sent uh, a message for Queen Esther na kailangan ng tulong ng lahi nila kasi gustong burahin. Burahin itong si, itong si Haman, yung mga Jews sa Persia. Okay, so, ipapapatay, ipapapatay lahat tanda, bata, babae, so lahat siya ipapapatay. And first response ni Queen Esther, parang katulad lang din natin si Queen Esther, um, sa, naisip niya na mag, magri-risk siya ng malaking bagay. Parang, ay, grabe, rags to riches. Dati nasa labas siya ng palas, ngayon nasa loob na siya ng palas. Parang, kumbaga, da, uh, kumbaga tayo dati, uh, lakad lang tayo, kumbaga tayo, pero ngayon meron tayo BMW. <laughs> Or, dati, um, uh, okay lang, okay na tayo na tambay-tambay lang, pero lang, meron kang magandang trabaho. Ngayon, yung, parang meron ka na ng lahat ngayon, tapos, i-risk mo para dun sa ibang tao. Gagawa ka ng, ng something para sa ibang tao. Pwede namang hindi kayo na lang yan. Okay na ako dito. Dito na lang ako. Pero sinabi ni Mordecai, hindi ka gagawa. Alam mo na ang Diyos yung gagawa para sa amin. Alam mo na ang Diyos yung gagawa para sa amin. Pero maybe you were called to be a queen at such a time as this. And then, dito natin makikita na um, Queen Esther has the fear of the Lord. Why? Because ano yung naging respond niya? Sabi niya, sige, go tell all the Jews, lahat ng Jews, to, to pray and fast for me. And I will do the same. Kasama yung mga maids niya. So, yun yung ginawa niya na prayer siya, na pray and fasting siya bago siya humarap sa hari kasi ito nga malaking risk na yung pagharap sa hari na hindi ka invited kailangan mong uh, kailangan ka matukunan ng golden scepter para um, ano para ma ma entertain ka ng hari so yeah she has a fear of the lord and her heart was pure her heart was pure na na humingi siya ng gabay sa Panginoon. You know, a good person is a person who God blessed, pero hindi niya nakakalimutan na si Lord yung nag-bless sa kanya. A good person is a person na binigyan ng opportunity, pero hindi niya nakalimutan kung saan galing yung opportunity na yun. And a good person is someone who was blessed by God and seek an opportunity to be a blessing to others and that was Queen Esther. Alam niyo yung mga celebrity Samaritans? Wala lang. 
I call them celebrities at Samaritans na na they are after they are after um, glory or honor ng ibang mga tao because of their good works. May mga nagtatanong nga sa akin, ilan subscribers mo sa YouTube? Hmm? Sabi ko, ano, wala pang 150 lang. <laughs> Siguro akala nila marami na subs and then, um, you know, some people are, are so after the likes, pero sabi ko nga sa mga nagtatanong sa akin or may mga nagsabi sa akin tungkol sa page or tungkol sa mga posts ko, um, I'm not after the likes or the subs or the subscription or the followers, I am after the reach. So, naki- masaya ako na nakikita ko yung mga uh, sinishare ko sa inyo na may mga um, mga 300 views kasi compare sa mga likes na 6 mga nag mga nag uh, sub na 50 like that kasi we are after the rich yung ma-rich mo yung community mo ma-rich mo yung ibang tao for the message of God so we are not to please people but we are to please God and I know that God is pleased kapag nare-relay yung message niya na extend yung love niya through his uh through his words and through the people na ginagamit niya and all the praises belongs to God alone. Now going back to Esther, God um God is not looking for a celebrity. He is looking for a servant. Yung magpapagamit sa kanya. Yung pwede niyang magamit. Now God doesn't mind blessing you as long as he know that he can use you. Alam niyo yung lahat ng blessings na binigay niya sa'yo, na ipinaranas niya sa'yo, he can always do it again. Kung masaya ka, naramdaman mo yung kilig sa maling tao, he can give you the right person, the right kilig. <laughs> you need it. Yung kilig na hindi pang samantala lang hindi yung kilig na dadalhin ka sa altar at mga ngako sa harap ng Diyos ng wagas na pag-ibig <laughs> and you know Esther got one <laughs> kasi the third day of her fast nagpunta na siya sa hari and then the king found favor. She obtained favor from the king kasi na ihinil na ni king yung uh, scepter sa kanya. And then the king asked, anong mapagayin ko po sa'yo? Or ano yung favor na gusto mo higin? Sabi ni uh, Queen Esther, if I have found favor in your sight and if it pleases the king, that line makes her meek. That line makes her humble. Kasi pwede naman niya sabihin na, na alam mo yung mga tao mo, gustong papatay yung mga lahi ko. Pwede naman niya sabihin na ganyan. Alam niyo yung sinabi ni King? Sabi ni King, sige sabihin mo kung ano yun. Kahit half of my kingdom I would give to you. Kita niyo yun yung, yung lalaking mahal na mahal ka talaga. Kahit um, kalahati ng uh, kaharian niya, bibigay niya sa'yo talaga. So, nakita natin yung sagot ni Esther. Hindi siya nagmadali na sinabi yung yung um, hindi siya hindi siya nagpadala sa puso ng damdam niya. So, ang ginawa niya, in-invite niya si King si King Ahasuerus and then Haman for a dinner sabi niya, at doon ko po sasabihin sa inyo kung ano yung request ko. So, nakita natin, hindi siya demanding. She has this meekness, a quiet spirit na with humbleness na humarap sa king. Na tinatanong na, ano gusto ko? Sabihin mo, ang gusto mo, ibibigay ko sa'yo. Pero, dinaan niya sa uh, kababaang loob. And then, sinabi niya na, let's have dinner with Haman. Now, to si Haman, super excited siya. Shinere niya dun sa wife niya na, alam mo ba na, invite ako ng uh, 
queen. Ako lang yung in-invite sa lahat ng mga officials to have a dinner with the king and with the queen. So, tapos ito naman si wife niya. Um, you know, you should get a wife na, na, na tutuwaan ka mabuti mabuting tao. Kasi itong wife ni, ni Haman, alam niya sa atin, sinabi niya sa kanya, yeah, masaya ka nga, parang dito, masaya ka nga ngayon, eh, tingnan mo nga, meron pang Mordecai dyan. Mordecai kasi, galit na galit si Haman kay Mordecai kasi one, once I, si Haman ay promoted as an, as an official of, uh, of the king na mataas sa position. And then, itong si Mordecai, hindi siya nagbabaw. Eh, lahat ng tao, lahat ng, even yung mga officials din ng king, nagbabaw sa kanya. So, galit na galit siya. Kaya nga, kaya nga, ito nagpa, nagpabash na degree kay king na ipapatay lahat ng Jews. So, nakita niya na naman si Mordecai. So, nagpagawa si Hamad ng 7 
So, sabi niya, sige, lahat ng sinabi mo yan, ibigay kay Mordecai. Akala niya sa kanya. Pero kay Mordecai, and then, nagkaroon niya siya ng plano na, na, na big, 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 si, big dihin si Mordecai. When it turned out na yung binlano niya, yung ginawa niyang pagbibigdahan kay Mordecai ay yung ginamit na pagbibigdahan sa kanya. So, don't quit on God. God will work it out. God will work it out. Don't stop praying. God will work it out. And sabi dito, Queen Esther is the hero on her story on the book of Esther. Because she has the heart that is right before God. She fears the Lord. She obeys. She obeys the king. She sub- she is submitted to the king. She fasted and she prayed before acting or making big decisions. And most of all, she took risk. She took risk. M- many of us nagiging comfort tayo outside the will of God. Yung akala mo okay ka na dito na nasa iyo na yung lahat and then suddenly uh, nabubuhay ka na na nakakalimutan na si Lord and, and it's uh, it's difficult to get back into God's will. Parang si Jonah she was asleep outside the will of God right? Pero you, you can see God's providence the providence of God katulad ng kay Moses Moses Moses' mother um, hindi niya alam yung gagawin niya pinaano niya yung anak niya sa tubig and that day nalilipo yung anak ng pero and kinapop siya and one day he, he, Moses was used by God to, to set the Israelites free from, from slavery of Egypt another um, God's providence is seen in Joseph na she was sold to slavery but then she became the king of Egypt so God is able to turn it around so if you are wondering you are waiting or you, you hindi mo alam kung ano yung next chapter mo or hindi hindi ka na po promote sa trabaho mo or wala kang wala yung mga kasabayan mo dati nasa maganda ng kalagayan sa buhay and then hindi mo na hindi mo alam kung kung naririnig mo ba ni Lord yung prayers mo just be strong and be dependent on God like Queen Esther first we must be obedient in God's word our King is our Lord. Our King is Jesus. And ano ba sinasabi ni Lord sa iyo? Then obey Him. Obey Him. And always have this chaste, um, sabi dito, chaste conversation. Chaste kasi meaning niya pure. Purity. So you must be pure at heart. You must, you must stay, um, uh, yung words in, in your words, in your, in your act, you must stay pure. And then, another thing is, you must be meek and quiet in spirit. You must be humble. Huwag mong sigawan, huwag mong taas na ng poses yung mga kapwa mo. And especially if you're, big, if you want to become a, a, a wife or you are looking for a godly man or uh, looking forward for a godly partner. Diba sabi ko nga, you must be the right person first. First, ikaw muna ayusin mo yung sarili mo. And lastly, last but not the least, you must have the fear of the Lord. Na siya yung magdadirect sa'yo. Ano sabi dito? Um, women who trusted in God adorned themselves being subjection to their own husband. And then, I, I'd like also to speak to the men. To the men to someone who is looking forward to become a mighty man of God, a, a good husband. Sabi dito sa 1 Peter chapter 3 
verse 7, Likewise, ye husband dwell with them according to the knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of grace of life, that your prayers are not hindered. So, it doesn't come naturally sa mga men. That's why it is commanded to men. Sabi dito, give honor to your wives. Treat your wife with understanding and live together. Be equal partner in God's gift of the life. So, kailangan you will work together. Kailangan you will, um, the wife submits to the husband and the husband honor their wives na intindihin mo in the, in the following verse it's um it's a message to all Christians na uh, do not retaliate do not retaliate with insults do not retaliate with insults when people insult you um, pag galit yung asawa mo huwag kang magagalit din let's apply this in marriage kapag galit yung asawa mo huwag kang huwag mo sasabay ng galit din that would be a bit different. So, if you are waiting for a poet and you are uh, wanting a uh, King Ahasuerus na ibibigay half of the kingdom, you would do everything for her wife, then you must be strong but dependent woman like Ruth and like Esther. So, that's it. See you on our next series so kung sino man pag-usapan natin next week I pray na you'd be excited as I am so see you again next Wednesday 7pm and don't forget to thank the Lord in all the